Heyo world, this is Kai, and in the last video what we did was we created an application that allowed us to log into the particle server, and if our credentials were incorrect, then it would give us this error that says invalid, and if they were correct, then we would get a uh, logged in little text right here. Well, in this video, we're going to go ahead and create a second uh, view, and when we successfully log in to that second view, that view is going to go ahead and display all the devices associated with our account. So to get started, I will start by going down here and typing in view, which was already conveniently typed in for me, and we'll get some more real estate if I just toggle away some panes. And I'll drag this table view controller, and this will allow me to create some uh, reusable cells that will go ahead and display everything for me. This is going to be really nice looking and professional. and now we actually need to create a um, a way to transition to this second table view controller that I just created. And in order to do that, I will first select this original view that we are working with and control drag from up here to the second view. And I'm going to create a show segue. And you can see that it actually created this little segue right here. And I'll give it an identifier so I can access it within my code. And I will call it uh, go to devices list table view controller segue that is the longest name but that's how you should be um, writing out names for things here so you can identify it very easily and now what I'll need to do is I'll need to give this a file so we can give the uh, view some you know some program and some fun some programmatic functionality and in order to do that I'll go to new file and I'll create a Coco Touch class and we'll create a UI table view controller class and call this my devices list table view controller. Next, create and this created a file for us. And what we actually want to do now is to tell this view right here to associate itself with that file. So whenever we write code in this file, it's gonna, you know make something happen on that view. So in order to do that, I'll select the view. And if we go to the identity inspector, I can go ahead and select its class and we'll give it my table list view controller class. And for now, we'll just go into this um, over here so we can, uh, well, before we do that, I'm gonna forget to create the segue. I know I am, cause I had to retake this, uh, redo this take so I can do this part. So now what we're gonna say is once we have a successful login, we'll just transition to the second segue, or to the second view, sorry. <clears throat> so I'll go into the original view controller um, code and instead of saying logged in, we will uh, go to a segue. So just type in segue, perform segue with identifier and the segue that we're gonna to wanna to perform is called Let's look at the name for it. And I'll just copy that name that we wrote and I will paste it right here. Sender nil is fine. And let's see what happens when we run this code. So if we've successfully um, done our job, what's gonna happen is once we log in with a valid account credential, then we're going to go to that second view and so I'll start typing in my credentials and once we log in you can see that I am segued to a second view that's pretty cool right now what we actually want to do is look I'll bring up the simulator there's no data within there and so in order to start giving it data what I will do is first will always return one section. I'm waving my hand at this part here and I'm gonna to try to move along a little faster here. And when the view loads, what we actually wanna do is use another API call. So again, I will open up the handy dandy particle reference. And if you look up list in the iOS SDK, you can see that it is going to list the devices that belong to the currently logged in user. And now to, I'll just copy this block of code and we'll start modifying it. So bring that into the Xcode IDE, paste it. I will get rid of this variable that it's um, created for us. 
and I will get rid of this little if condition because I'm not looking for a specific device and uh, I will in fact get rid of all that. I'll leave the for loop blank and there's an error in the Swift code that they haven't updated yet. You need to change this to any and for now we'll just leave that blank and we're going to create an array that we can access outside of the view did load function and this array is just simply going to be called my particle devices are and it's going to be of type or of an array with um, sorry particle device and we'll initialize it to being empty and why are you complaining and we will use it right now so it likes to do that and so through every iteration of this loop we're gonna append to that array that we just created so my particle devices dot append and we're gonna um, so essentially what this code does is it hits the particle server and it's requesting some information from it and it's returning a object and we're just gonna iter iterate through whatever it returns for us and assign it well we're gonna call that object devices and we're gonna iterate through it each time and each time we iterate through it that single object is just gonna be called device and so if I go here and append to it device then we should start to get some data in that array and I think I have to say self here Particle device, oh, spark device. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that should be fine if I run the code. However, there is an issue, and this is a um, call to a server, so I need to do some asynchronous uh, coding here. So I have a magical piece of code that I found in my journey and this is just going to allow us to asynchronously run some functions and so what I want to do after a uh, two second delay is right here one second I'll explain this so what's going down is this function that, I've, um, that I'm going to definitely wave my hand at for now it's just going to allow me to asynchronously uh, reload my view so I want to self uh, table view so after two seconds, I'm going to reload the view. Um, that way I can, because this takes a while to go to the server and return some data. So I don't want to right away uh, reload the data and it's not going to be populated with anything for like a couple seconds anyway. So what we're just, um, yeah, so I'll come back to that later. And instead of returning nothing here, um, no rows, I wanted to actually return the number of items in this array and in order to do that we can just return my particle devices array and get the count of it so if there's two items in there it's just going to return two rows and that's exactly what we want and now we're going to have to actually give it an put another function here in here that adheres to these protocols for the UI table view controller and it is called uh, just type in table view cell for row at so let me show you guys by going to the main storyboard. I'll make this the initial view so I don't have to because I want to what I'm gonna do right now is launch the simulator and I'm gonna show you what's going down. But every time I launch the simulator, it's starting on this login screen. I it's uh, it's gonna get very annoying very quickly. So instead what I'm gonna do is make this view my initial view controller, and when I run the application, you'll see that I instead let's fix this error first. get rid of that and when I run the application it is I actually don't even know if it's gonna work okay cool so when I run this application yeah, you see it crashes because we don't have anything in those in that table view it's requiring cells and we haven't created a cell yet so that's exactly what we're about to do so if I go back into the code there I'm going to go back and create that function that we had earlier, which is table view, and it's going to bring up cell for row at index. I'm going to create a cell called cell, and we'll actually go ahead and um, go back to the main storyboard, and I will show you that this is the cell right here that we're going to, it's called a prototype cell, so we're going to access this in the code, 
And in order to do that, remember we need to give the identifier and I'll just call it cell. So now if I go back in my code, I'm gonna say let's cell. This is just a new variable that I'm creating here. I'm gonna say let's cell equal to um, table view dot reusable dq reusable cell with identifier of cell and that's the cell that we just created in storyboard so this identifier is going to have to match whatever identifier we put in here and we're going to return cell and we want the data in each one of those cells to um, represent the name of the particle devices that we get returned from the particle server and in order to do that we're going to iterate through that array by saying um, let's see cell dot text label dot text is going to be equal to so let's get that array and the array is called my particle devices array and now at each index path We're going to give it its name. So let's see if this builds, and if not, then let's fix this. Yes. You know I, you know I want to do that. Come on, Swift. So if I build this application, let's see if it runs first, and I'll walk you through what's going down. So it actually did work. So what's going down in this area is we're going to go through this array and we're going to look up the object that is the objects that are within the array. So there should be two objects in there and each of those objects has a name value and that name value is just going to give me the name of my particle device. So in this case it's Demented or Tomatillo. So what we want to do now is since I think we have a little bit of time we'll get a little bit pro and we're gonna embed in a editor embed in a navigation controller and we're gonna make this the navigation controller that we just embedded in I'll show you what it is in just a second we're gonna make that the initial view and in order to do this we need to select it and is initial view controller now if I go ahead and run the application again, let's see what we have so far. Let's open up the simulator and that what we just embedded in is going to be this top bar thing right here and you'll see what it does in just a second once we enter in the credentials one last time. Log in. We log in successfully. It's going to take a couple seconds to run that asynchronous function and it's going to reload the table view once it's collected data from the particle server. And now you see that, um, what's it called? I don't really know everything perfectly yet. The navigation controller that we just embedded in is right here and it's going to allow us to go back and go back to the initial view. So just like that, we're taking advantage of segues, we're taking advantage of asynchronous calls, we're doing some API calls to the server and you know, we're on our way to making something really cool, guys. So stay tuned because we're going to just keep building on this application.